Number 26, letter A. A sphere has a surface uniformly charged with one coulomb. At what distance, at what distance from its center is the potential five megavolts? All right, so we have to make a couple of assumptions. I know they're talking about a uniformly charged sphere, so you might be drawing this, you know, like as a sphere, uh, which would make, even though that's a circle, it's a two-dimensional paper. You know that it's a sphere though. Uh, what we have to do is we kind of have to assume that the sphere is really, really tiny, all right, and that it's basically just a single point charge. And the charge value here is going to be one coulomb. And now what it wants us to calculate is it wants us to calculate the distance relative to this sphere or this point charge, okay? It wants us to calculate this distance, which is R, right? Check out number 25. I've, I've explained this kind of concept in a lot more detail about why it's radius and all this stuff. So check out number 25. But they want us to then calculate the voltage at this particular, uh, excuse me, they want us, uh, they gave us the voltage at that particular point. They told us it's five megavolts. You know, mega is times 10 to the, I had to think about that for a second, times 10 to the sixth. So this is going to be five times 10 to the sixth volts. Okay. So this has a very simple setup, basically. It, we know that the voltage of a point charge is going to be equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the charge that is producing the voltage, okay, at a certain distance, divided by the distance, basically, or the AK, the radius, check out number 25, between the charge and the voltage. So let's plug it in. So this is 9 times 10 to the ninth multiplied by the charge of 1 coulomb, all divided by then that radius is R. And the voltage we know, so this is 5 times 10 to the 6th. All we got to do is a little cross multiplication, move the R on up, move this on down to solve, and bada bing, bada boom, there we go. So it's basically 9 times 10 to the 9th, divided then by 5 times 10 to the 6th. This is about, this works out to be 1,800. So 1,800 uh, meters. Okay. Uh, sure. Let her be. What does your answer imply about the practical aspect of isolating such a large charge? Um, I mean, you know, in terms of, you might be familiar with it, right? This is about 1.8 kilometers. Or in other words, for all you Americans out there, it's a little over a mile. Uh, yeah. Imagine a sphere that's a little over a mile that's charged that with one coulomb. I, oh, okay. My brain's going crazy right now. I can't even fathom it. Um, yeah, that's okay. Good guys. I'll see you the next problem. All right. You have a great day.